Don't you agree that Photoshop is just incomplete without navigating? We love navigating from one part of the photo to another. Let's say you're working on the forehead and you want to move to the cheek to just dodge and burn. You hold the space bar to do that and you drag it, right? This is what you do. Now, sometimes what happens is you hold the space bar, you click, you drag, and when you release it too hard, the canvas keeps on moving as if it's under the influence. Now, if you don't like this, here's how to stop it. Let me illustrate once again. Let's say you're working right here, you hold the space bar, you click and drag and you release it and it just keeps on moving. Sometimes we just want it to stop when we stop. And to do that, let's go to Edit, Preferences. By the way, if you're using a Mac, that would be under Photoshop Preferences at the top here, it would be Photoshop for you. Let's go to Edit, Preferences and then Tools. Now inside of that, all you need to do is to uncheck Enable Flick Panning. We want to disable it, so let's uncheck that, hit OK. Now what happens is that when you zoom in and when you want to navigate by holding the space bar and then you drag and release, it just stops when you want it to stop. So maybe this is something you want, maybe this is something you don't want. I recommend testing it out for three or four days and see what works the best for you. For me, I just keep it disabled all the time. So that my friend was the tip for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, here's one more tip. When you're zoomed in and you're working on something, you can hold the H key and then when you click and drag, it turns into a bird's eye view. And then let's say you want to work on the teeth and you release it right here and it zooms in right there. So if you're working on a large image and you don't want to just drag and explore and find out where the hair or the headband is, this is what you do. You are at this area of the image. You hold the H key, just click and hold. It just shows you the entire image and then you can just drop release. That's all for this video. By the way, if you're wondering, we have done some dodging and burning right here. Have a look. And we have done it with the help of AI using Retouch for Me Dodge and Burn. If you're interested in discounts, check the links in the description. So all you have to do in that is make a copy of the subject layer, go to Filter, Retouch for Me, and Retouch for Me Dodge and Burn. That's it. The great part about that is that it creates layers. By the way, if you're not interested, you don't have to do it. Here's a video on how to do Dodge and Burn manually. I highly recommend understanding it first on how it works. And then you can, of course, increase the blending as to how much dodging and burning you want. You can also choose to create a soft light layer. Check that and hit apply. Now that creates a soft light layer. All of this that you can do manually, AI does automatically. Now if you just change the blend mode to soft light, take a look. Here's the before, here's the after. Now if you look at this one, I've done some manual on top of it as well. The only manual thing I've done is on the eyes and right here. So if you look at the image, this dodging and burning is something I've done on top of it. Everything else is done by AI. All right, so let's turn on the skin tone as well to equalize the skin tones and I improved the color of the eyes as well to remove all that. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in my next fun. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. What can I do?